the West African mediation team came into the country to try to get Jami to concede power. And at the time, he was wearing a pendant with a picture of Yaya Jami, clearly showing whose side he is on. Now, since he's pledged his allegiance, his formal allegiance, to Jame, not the Gambia, but to Jame, we've seen members of the military removing posters of the opposition, arresting people wearing um, um, T-shirts um, with the picture of the opposition leader. Now remember, this uh, army is a small army of just a thousand men, and Yaya Jame has taken um, several steps to ensure that that army stays on his side. So this is a position that Usman Baji has been holding for just a few years. He's pre his predecessor was in fact arrested and put in, pre and put in prison for treason. So this role of being the chief of army is an important role. And so one that Jai wants to keep on his side because he knows that he, has, he doesn't have an army strong enough to match an ECOWAS or West African force that would come and intervene if he refused to hand over power to Adam Abaro on January 19th, Adrian. Uh, in another significant development, the man who organized uh, the, the presidential election has, has fled the country. Why? So, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't hear you, Adrian, but, but, the, but the election commission chairman has left the country, has fled the country um, just a few days ago. And we have to remember that he's the first one from the entourage of Yaya Jame to step forward and stand against him by announcing election results that would announce the opposition um, as being the, 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 the one that had won this election. Since then, he's been under threat. He says that his life is in danger. And so it's no surprise that he has fled to Senegal. He's one of a number of people who have fled the country in recent days. Top politicians, ministers have fled uh, the country, fearing that there might be some sort of military intervention in, in the country. Yaya Jami, in the meantime, has sought, well, we've heard before that, has sought, he sought some sort of um, uh, rebel groups to come and help him to, to reinforce his troops from um, Liberia and Ivory Coast. We, there's been two senior military officers that have been recently arrested at the border of Mauritania. Um, clearly, he's looking for some sort of support from regional powers, from rebel groups, in order to foment some sort of uh, stronger army to ensure that he can hold to power. But in the meantime, many people from his entourage are fleeing the country. Adrian? Nicholas Hack, many thanks indeed. Nicholas Hack, they're live in Dhaka, Senegal. African mediation team came into